In today's video, we'd like to go over changing a set of guaranteed delivery sensors in your AMS Sensit machine. We're first going to start by powering the machine down. You'll know that's successful because you'll see the lights go out. Depending on what task you're going to perform, it may be recommended to completely unplug the machine, but for the sake of changing out the product sensors, powering the machine down is acceptable. You'll need a quarter inch nut driver, and that's the only tool you'll need. We have the primary side and the secondary side sensor. We're going to change both of them. We also have a harness that we're not going to change, but there may be a time when our technical service department recommends that you change out the harness as well for a communication issue. We're going to come back to the harness because this red line is important if you when you reinstall the harness. Okay, quarter inch nut driver. Remove the screw. And what you'll see is this bracket that's mounted to the machine is going to be overlapping the bracket that holds the sensor. I'll remove the sensor. As such. And now what I'm going to do is you're going to find that the sensors are pushed onto three posts. And I'm going to gently start to remove the sensors from the posts. And sometimes you have to uh, give them a little bit of working back and forth. You get, generally, the first one comes loose. You work the second and the third off. And your sensor is then removed from the bracket that houses it. Also, as this, you're, you're performing this task, you will have what's called a sensor extension. This is important. Don't lose this because this will be reused with the new sensors. If you order sensors as a set, typically this comes with that, but always keep these, uh, keep these available. So now, I'm going to remove the harness. This is the harness that travels to the secondary sensor, and this so this would be the communication harness between sensors. This harness is the harness that actually communicates to the control board and tells the control board that a successful vent has been made. So I'm going to remove both of these. I'm going to set my defective sensor down. I have my new sensor to install. Keep in mind, the red line is going to be facing the glass when you put this back in. So it's very important that you get this plug in seat and seated correctly. But you'll know you've done it correctly when the red line is towards the glass side. Also, we will put our communication, we'll plug that in, okay? Now, if there, if there are, if this is a refrigerated machine, depending on the vintage of machine that you have, there may be a third harness, and that is for the temperature sensor. Depending on software and what vintage of machine, a little bit older machines, you'll see where the temperature sensor plugs into this board and then communicates up to the control board. Uh, on later machines, we ran the sensor all the way up and plugged it in directly to the control board. So you may or may not have a third harness, again, depending on if it's a low temp, if it's an ambient snack, uh, and version of software. So I'm going to take my sensor extension. I'm going to place it over this light, and then I'm going to reinstall the cover. And again, I will press the sensor onto the board, onto the pins. I'll lift up on the kicker a little bit to help me align. And 
remember, the bracket that's attached to the machine is the bracket that will cover the sensor bracket. Quarter inch nut driver, the screw that was removed. All right, we'll now do the secondary side. Again, our quarter inch nut driver, we'll remove the screw that holds the sensor bracket to the door bracket. We'll remove our sensor. Again, we'll gently work on getting it off that post. And then once the first one comes off, the second and third will come off. Make sure we keep track of the sensor extension. On the secondary side, all that you'll need to remove is the communication harness. We'll reinstall it. Again, we'll know that the harness has been installed correctly because when we reinstall, we will see that the red line is going to be facing the glass. Okay, to reinstall, we'll take the sensor extension, we'll place it into the sensor bracket, then we guide the sensor into the sensor extension and correctly place it on the pins and push down. And we will reinstall. Just a final check. The red line of the communication harness will be facing the glass. Sometimes it helps to pull up a little bit on the kicker. Help with placement. Again, door bracket on the outside. That completes the installation of the secondary. Keep in mind, if our service department recommends changing the communication harness, there's a couple different versions of the delivery bin. When we went to the ADA compliant lift hopper, there's actually now a channel, a channel in here that the harness goes through. But if it's this style of hopper, we, we carefully route it and we recommend some wire ties to clean it up underneath the delivery hopper. Thanks for watching and thanks for being an AMS customer.